Today you're going to hear a tall tale about a man named Johnny Appleseed. A tall tale is a humorous story that stretches the truth. That means that it's not completely true, but it's also not completely fiction or false. It exaggerates real events. Before we start, let's go over some vocabulary. Our first word is eventually. Say eventually. Eventually means at some later time, in the end. Hero. Say hero. A hero is a very brave person. And our last word is orchards. Say orchards. An orchard is an area of land where fruit trees are grown. Johnny Appleseed. I want you to listen carefully to find out why Johnny Appleseed is important. A long time ago in the rolling hills, there lived a man called Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed did not have a home, but instead wandered across the country from Massachusetts to Pennsylvania, to Ohio, to Indiana, to Illinois. Wander means to travel from place to place without knowing exactly where you are going next. Johnny wasn't born with the name Johnny Appleseed, but he got that name as he moved from one small town to the next. Listen to hear how Johnny got that name and why he became a hero to many people. A hero is a very brave person. Johnny was born in Massachusetts with the name John Chapman. When Johnny grew up, he decided to travel across the country. People could tell from Johnny's clothing that he was really very poor. His clothes were shabby and he walked around barefoot, even in the winter. When something is shabby, it is very old and torn. To walk around barefoot means to walk around wearing nothing on your feet. His hat was so threadbare that you could see his hair beneath it. But despite his loneliness and poverty, Johnny had a brave heart. So even though Johnny was usually alone and very poor, he was happy and brave. He believed in the power of love. He loved all the people and all the animals he met along the way. In fact, Johnny often thought to himself that he loved all the people and all the animals in the world, even though he had never met them. The people Johnny met along the way enjoyed his company. They would often invite him to share in a simple meal. Johnny would accept the invitation with a smile. After the meal, he would take out the one possession he owned that was worth anything, his violin. Then he would play for the people who had been kind to him. Sometimes his music was happy and sometimes it was sad. People loved to hear Johnny play, whether his music was happy or sad. They said it soothed the soul and made them feel happier. Johnny lived most of his adult life this way. He wandered from place to place and survived as best he could. You might think that Johnny left no mark upon the land or no great memory of his existence once he had passed away. This means that you might think Johnny was not an important person and that people might forget about him. After all, how could he have? As he was just a poor old man who wandered from place to place. But Johnny did indeed leave something of himself behind, something quite extraordinary or amazing, and something that would give him the name Johnny Appleseed. You see, as he traveled across the country from town to town and from farm to farm, he collected apple seeds. The apple seeds came from the apples kind strangers gave him to eat along the way. Johnny saved the seeds and planted them in the rich earth. He planted them here, there, and everywhere. When winter time came and the earth was frozen, he saved the seeds in his pockets as if they were precious diamonds. Then, 
When springtime came again, he planted the seeds as he moved from place to place. Johnny hoped that one day orchards or places where fruit trees grow would eventually grow up from the rich soil and feed all the people and animals he loved so much. When something eventually happens, it does not happen right away, but happens after some time has passed. Johnny did this until his tired old body could plant no more. However, what Johnny hoped for came to pass. The apple seeds took root and young saplings began to grow. As the years went by, beautiful apple trees dotted the landscape. Apple orchards appeared like an oasis on the wide open prairies. An oasis is a nice and comfortable place to be. The apple trees made the land look very good and pleasant. Eventually, more and more people began to move west. Wagons full of hopeful people rolled across the land. Later, the railroad brought even more hopeful people. All of these people were searching for new places to make a home. Incredibly, many people chose to build their homes near the apple trees and orchards that Johnny had planted. The sight of the trees gave people hope of a fruitful and prosperous future. So prosperous means successful. Farmhouses and then towns were built near the trees that Johnny had planted. He became a hero to all those who loved the apple trees as much as Johnny did. And they began to call John Chapman, Johnny Appleseed. As the years went by, People harvested the apples from the trees Johnny had planted, and they stored them away for the winter months. They made pies, apple butter, and jam. Children played beneath the branches of the apple trees or sat in the cooling shade. These things happened because Johnny Appleseed had cared about all the people of the world, whether he knew them or not. That was a very nice tall tale. Go ahead and answer the questions.